Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, we are going to understand how to access HTML elements in JavaScript. To access HTML elements in JavaScript, we take help of get element by ID function, get elements by class name function, get elements by tag name function. In this video, we understand how to access HTML elements by their ID attribute value. To access HTML elements by their ID attribute value, we take help of get element by ID function guys. To this function, we pass the elements ID attribute value. Let's have a demo and understand. I minimize it. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it, say open with notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to accessing HTML elements. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to accessing HTML elements. I go to notepad in the body section. I say opening p tag, closing p tag. Inside that I say paragraph text. I copy this line of code and paste few times. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see we got paragraph text, paragraph text, paragraph text displayed. I want to change this paragraph text to page heading in JavaScript guys. What I want? I want to change this paragraph text to page heading in JavaScript. For that what I do? I give here an ID. I am going to identify this paragraph uniquely by giving an id i say here first p next what i do i write here opening script tag and closing script tag in the opening script tag i say type equal to text or javascript inside that i say document dot get element by id bracket bracket semicolon in double quotations we pass the id attribute value which we want to access guys i am telling in the document get the element whose id is set to first p this element id is set to first p so we get the reference to that element guys here i am going to create a variable called as first p equal to in the first p we get the reference to the element whose id is set to first p now onwards, first p indicates this paragraph whose id is set to first p guys. Once we get the reference, we can change the content of that element. Very simple. I say here first p dot inner html should be equal to page heading. Inner html indicates content guys, content. I am telling first p content should be page heading. If I save this, go to browser and reload, you can see that first paragraph's content is changed to page heading. So like that, we can access any HTML element by its ID attribute value using get element by ID function guys. Just we have to pass the ID of the element which we want to access in JavaScript guys. Very simple. And once we get the reference, we can do any modification to the element. Like here we are changing the content of first P to page heading. If you want, you can apply the styles also. For example, I say here first P dot style. We use style attribute to apply CSS styles guys. First P dot style dot we have to write any CSS property name here. For example, I say background color should be equal to black. See in CSS we have B-A-C-K-G-R-O-A-V-N-D background dash color property. Here what we do to write CSS properties we follow camel case notation. First words every character we write in lower case and every other words first character we write in upper case. We don't use dash guys. Here every other words first character we make capital and then we use equal to sign to assign the value in double quotations i have written black 
let's see what happens if i save it go to browser and reload you can see that the background color is set to black let me change the text color to white for that what we do guys simply i say here first p dot style dot color should be equal to white semicolon so i'm saying here text color should be white if i save this go to browser and reload you see text color is changed to white if i have to change the font size let's say what i do i say here first p dot style dot font size equal to 32 pixels semicolon i save it go to browser and reload you can see the font size is changed so this is how we can access html elements by their id attribute value first we get the reference to the element and then we do modifications like we can change the content of the element we can apply the css styles etc etc guys hope you guys clearly understood how we use get element by id function for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to try yourself in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about accessing html elements in javascript if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial